It's only JB from JLS, everybody. How are you? Hey, I'm good. How are you? I'm very good. Now, you know, we could have had you. We could have had you and the other boys. But I just wanted to talk to you because you are now a Kent guy on the farm. I mean, first of all, how how's the farm? That's where you are this morning? Yes, I am indeed. Everything's good. Uh, I can't complain. The sun is shining. Um, yeah. We're, we're in good shape and I'm looking forward to speaking to you guys because I was actually in Margate the other day, not too long ago, um, a couple of weeks ago, doing some filming and it was nice to be back because the last time I was there before that, um, I was filming for a, a different show, a travel show, uh, talking about seaside towns and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I do try and get down privately to, to Margate <laughs> and that part of Kent with the family. So, uh, so yeah, I was looking forward to speaking to you guys about our tour. And then come July 6th, you'll be back there again. Uh, can I ask as well, I, I don't know if you'll have to tell me if, if this is incorrect information. Do you have your own radio station on your farm? I don't know. So I think you're referring to something that I was perf- performing, which is effectively the sound of the farm, which oh. can be transported directly to you. So it's a, it's a it's a radio station, but it's specifically just sound. So it could be like the sound of the dawn chorus, or it could be like the hum of, I don't know, uh, tractors or whatever, like various different sounds that are picked up uh, throughout wildlife, throughout the countryside. Um, was was obviously specific for the radio station. Oh, cool! That so that that those sounds, those sounds of the country, are pumping through during the during the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh wow! And that works for the animals, I guess. Well, for everything, yeah, absolutely. I was going to say, are you? Oh, for a second, I thought I heard that JB's launched his radio station on his farm. Is he competition for KMFM? <laughs> I'm going to have to bring it up. No, not quite, not quite. <laughs> Although you never, never say never. Oh, you guys do great fighting job, talk. So, um, <laughs> no, I was going to say, but you guys do a great job. So I, I definitely wouldn't want to tread on any toes. It's always a good time when we when we link up. Hey, thank you. Hey, look, this summer you are, as we've mentioned, you're heading to Dreamland as part of your summer tour, July 6th. We have tickets to win this weekend on KMFM. What can you tell us about the tour so far? Listen, if anybody has ever been to one of the JLS shows, this is a summer hit tour. So you can expect summer, hopefully some good weather, but I can't guarantee that. But you can definitely expect hits. You know, you're going to get all the songs. If any of you have been to any of the shows, any of the arena shows in London, uh, perhaps Bournemouth, Brighton even, then you'll you'll definitely be aware of, um, you know, kind of what our, our shows entail. High energy, lots of dancing, singing, hand-waving, um, and it's a multicultural affair, a multi-generational affair. Um, but yeah, it's going to be lots of fun. We've performed at Dreamland before, so it's going to be good to be back there. Um, and of course, as I say, like Margate holds a very special place in my heart. Um, but also, you know, the, the boys and I, as I say, love coming down there and we'll definitely be bringing the whole family, or certainly I will, because it's it's going to be one of my local gigs on the summer tour. So looking forward to all of that. It is fair to say for 90 minutes, you will not be sitting down, not for a second, not when you're on stage. <laughs> exactly. What and is listen, your... if, even if it does rain as well, if it, even if it does rain, you can guarantee that it's going to still be pretty special. I mean, we've done... It's been a while since we did a, a, an outdoor show, but, uh, you know, we've done outdoor shows literally in the pouring rain. And it's one of those things that it's just such a unique experience because you don't you don't have any idea what the weather's going to bring. Um, but as wet as you get, we'll get even wetter um, and we'll just be in the moment together. That's what it's all about. Have you got a favourite song that you perform on the tour or does it change? Um well, I mean, I've got to go with the classic Everybody in Love. I think it's the the one song everybody must hear. Um, and we often tend to leave it to, in fact, we always tend to leave it to the very end with our encore. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's the one that, you know, people can't fail to dance to, put their hands in the air, of course. Um, and yeah, it always goes down well. And it's very colourful as well. And I think that's, that's a, a, you know, kind of an, an incredible thing, an incredible note for us to leave any uh, audience that we perform in front of with. Because those hands are straight up, like two seconds. As soon as that beat drops, everybody's like that, aren't they? Straight away. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh, so, uh, what's on the tour rider? Because everyone's always obsessed with uh, performers and their riders. If you've got nothing in particular that you kind of feel stands out, what about the boys? Have they got anything unusual that they request? Um, we all, well, we all do definitely have uh, uh, stuff on the rider. I think it's changed over the years. So back in the day. It used to be like a bottle of brandy was kind of like the go-to after the show. Um, but now, I mean, everyone's kind of got their own their own eclectic taste. So like Marv likes a bit of rosé wine. Oh. 
Um, Aston is into his tequila, as I'm sure you guys will know. So, um, yeah, he's always got some tequila on the rider. 